The masterminds of the sensational paper league case, Kumut Rajkowa, Pranab Dada, and Prasanadas will be taken to the CID office in Kohati today for grilling in connection with the investigation into the question paper league fiasco. And notably, headmaster of Dafalakata High School and prime accused in the case, Gumud Rajkowa, surrendered before the police at the Lokimbur Sadar police station yesterday. Earlier, co-accused Pranab Datta, who is the headmaster of Lohit Kabalu High School and Prasanna Das, a teacher at Dafalagata High School, were also napped by police. All in all, a total of 28 arrests have been made so far in connection with the HSLC Question Paper League case. Yes, viewers, this is a big story coming in from Assam. The masterminds of the sensational paper league case, Kumut Rajkowa, Pranap Datta and Prasanna Das will be taken to the CID office in Kohati today for grilling in connection with the investigation into the question paper leak fiasco. Notably, headmaster of Dafalagata High School and prime accused in the case, Gumut Rajkowa, who was on the run, surrendered before the police at the Lokimbur Sadar police station yesterday. And earlier, co-accused Pranap Datta, who is the headmaster of Lohit Kapalu High School and Prasanna Das, a teacher at Dafalakata High School, were also napped by police. And all in all, a total of 28 arrests have been made so far in connection with the HSLC Question Paper League case. Well, yes, viewers, we have our Chief of Bureau, Arindam Das, joining us over the phone right now to give us more details on this. So, Arindam, yes, indeed, a big breakthrough. The mastermind, Kumut Rajkowa, has surrendered before the police, and now all three of the big accused are already in police custody. They shall be taken to the CID office in Kohati today for grilling. What updates have you got for us? What do we need to know on these developments? Arindam. Yes, Stephen, uh, this is a big breakthrough because all the mastermind of the HSL paper leakage has landed in the police net, which includes Pranav uh, Dutta, Kumud Das, Kumud Rajkwa, and Professor Nod Das. So two of them were arrested by Assam police, uh, while one of them, Kumud Rajkwa, was absconding. He also surrendered before the police uh, yesterday. And today, a trial will be brought to the CID headquarters in Guwahati where they will be interrogated. <laughs> now, this interrogation is very crucial because police have identified them as the mastermind of this entire scam, how the paper leakage took place, how the papers were sold. So, the CID sleuths will make these three people sit face to face and bring them continuously to know how the leakage happened, how the papers were sold, how many people were involved, how the juveniles got involved, that's the students, how they got involved, because as we know, that 28 arrests have been made, which includes juveniles. Of course, they are students, and they were also arrested in this connection because they were crucial in breaking the chain, that's decoding the chain of even how many people were involved, who were there, uh, doing what. So right now, these uh, three accused, Pranab Dutta, Kumud Rajkwa, and Prasun Nandas, they will be brought to the CID headquarters, and there they will be interrogated. In fact, they have already been uh, brought uh, to Guwahati in transit month from various parts, because they, they were in fact arrested in modern Assam, and today they will be brought to the CID headquarters where there will be drilling of these three people. They will get to sit face to face with each other, and the CID leaders will interrogate them to know the truth behind this paper leakage as to how it took place and to whom these papers were sold and how it was circulated. Because the papers were circulated on social media that through WhatsApp. And the money transaction of selling and buying also took place through e-wallet. So that's the chain of events that happened during this entire 
uh, such as the paper scam. So this is a big breakthrough for some police because the police acted very fast. Actually. Indeed. Indeed, Arindam Das. Now, before I let you go, I have one more question for you. Now, uh, what about the juveniles? You know, there are underage school students who are also or who were also involved in the case. Now, besides counseling being provided to them, what action will be taken against them? How about their education, Arindam? Yes, uh, Chicken, yesterday the DGP of Assam, GP Singh, addressed a press conference and he said that uh, a lot of questions were raised. In fact, there was controversy. Why were the juveniles arrested? In fact, they are arrested. Though they are kept in juvenile home, they are arrested in this connection. Then the DGP uh, of Assam said that it was very necessary to arrest this Juveniles, because they were the ones who provided the key lead in getting to the masterminds or to decode the chain of people who were involved in this question paper leakage. And that's how the police were able to reach the masterminds, and right now they're in police net. And so uh, the police was quick enough uh, to uh, arrest uh, all the 28 involved. In fact, there might be a few more, but the DGP has uh, made it clear that uh, right now only a few people might come out who will be just the buyers of this question because they are not directly involved in leaking or selling these question papers. But yes, uh, these juveniles uh, were very crucial in providing leads to the entire investigation. They are right now kept in juvenile homes and uh, yes, counseling will be given to them. And apart from that, the uh, police is also parallelly questioning them in this entire uh, event. And uh, right now, yes, yes they have said uh, definitely they will be uh, counseled at the juvenile homes so that Correct. they do not mess up in the future.